there, this recipe is how to cook a chicken breast in the pressure cooker. So this is one of the most requested things that I get asked about how to make in the pressure cooker is the chicken breast. So um, today I'm going to show you how to do that in a couple different ways. I'm going to show you how to brown a chicken breast on each side and then cook it. And I'm going to show you how to just put it in and cook it. And we're going to talk a little bit about a frozen chicken breast and how to cook that as well. So I'm going to start out with just a regular two chicken breasts. They're about four to six ounces each. Um, if yours are any bigger, I would maybe add another minute to the time that you cook. So um, these ones I'm gonna just go ahead and put in. The Instant Pot is not on. So I'm gonna add the chicken breasts in there and I'm gonna use water, but you can use anything, any type of liquid with flavor in it, stock, uh, salsa, you could do like a mixture of soy sauce and ginger and um, you know any any kind of like Mexican flavors like taco seasoning you can put in here as well too so any kind of flavor that you like you can put it in here um, I'm gonna use water and I'm gonna use some herbs I just have some rosemary and thyme so it's very poultry like and I uh, so I season them both sides with salt and pepper and I'm just gonna put a little in because this isn't it's just kind of to give the water a little bit of flavor and aroma to it while it's cooking. All right. So then we're going to seal the pressure cooker here. Seal it. And I am going to cook it on high pressure. And these are going to be 12 minutes. So I'm gonna cook these for 12 minutes. Now when we brown the chicken, I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. And when you brown it on each side, you're cooking it a little bit. So the cook, cook time can come down to eight minutes for those. Now a frozen chicken breast, you're gonna need a little bit more time. So I bump it up from 12 minutes to 18 minutes because you obviously can't brown the frozen chicken. Um, but it does, does need that few extra minutes to cook. And even with that, you can add in, just like I said, your flavored liquid, whatever liquid that you want to use with it, you know, your salsa, your whatever it is, you're going to use water or um, broth. And you'll just put that straight in to the um, pot with the frozen chicken breast and just cook it that way. You could even mix like water and barbecue sauce to make like pulled chicken sandwiches. So there's a lot of options, obviously. <laughs> But um, so you, the, the rule is that you want to have at least one cup of water with in this pot. If you have a different electric pressure cooker than an instant pot, um, refer to your manual and just make sure that you don't need to have more than a cup of water. Usually a cup is about average. So um, we'll come back when this is ready. And so I'll show now you. the chicken's done and I'm going to vent so that all the steam can be released and it's going to take maybe a couple seconds for that to happen. Keep your fingers out of the way. Use that little knob on the side if you're worried about it. You can also use um, your tongs to just kind of push it back and forth. So if you notice on the display here, once it shifts to um, the L with the time, this is a, the amount of time that it's sitting and it moved it to keep warm for you. So until you come and turn this off here, it's going to stay and it'll start counting down. So if you want to do like a natural pressure release for 10 minutes, you could do that. Wait till it gets to the 10 and then release your pressure. Um, so the timer is pretty helpful to have. All right, I'm going to open the pot away from me so all the steam escapes that way. And these are looking good. So I'm going to follow the same rules that I do with any meat and I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes before I cut into it. But I'm going to go ahead and do that right now just so that I can show you that um, the chicken is cooked through. So it's nice and tender. And see, it's still juicy and cooked through. It's not tough. We'll get through this bigger one. So it's perfectly cooked chicken. 
it's still juicy and moist. I just okay, love that. We are back. We're going to do a sauteed chicken breast in the Instant Pot. And you can see on the display, it says hot. And I'm using grapeseed oil. So I just salt and peppered this side of the chicken. Now I'm going to do this side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute both sides. And once it's brown on both sides, I'm going to do again what I did in the last video. And I'm going to add some herbs. So you can add, like I said before, a sauce of some sort. I'm going to add herbs and water. But we're going to use this little trivet this time. So once I brown the chicken, I'm going to put the chicken on this trivet. And I'll stick it in the pot. And then I'm going to put the chicken up on this trivet. That way it's not sitting in the water and you keep kind of the crispy brown parts of it. So um, what I've noticed, so right now it says on. Um, when I put any meat or anything that I'm browning in the Instant Pot, I'll put it in and it'll go back down to not being hot and I'll let it cook on this side. Um, as a general rule, what I've been following is in this uh, display, once it says hot again, usually that's about the time that it is ready to flip. All right, so we're gonna come back and flip it. It says hot now. So I'm going to flip it and it's like beautiful colored. So, so I'm gonna do that again and I'm gonna let it, it's gonna stay hot probably for the remainder of cooking it. I am gonna move the, uh, Oil around just a little bit. Okay, so I've let the other side brown. So now I'm going to put the trivet in. I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to lift up the, uh, the breast. And I'm going to put the breast on top of the trivet. Stand back when you do this because now you have oil in the pan and you're going to add water to it. So just a cup of liquid and it cooled down real fast. All right, so let's seal it and let's do, got to turn off and we're going to do just eight minutes on this one. All right, so we'll come back when this one's ready and I'll cut into it and show you how perfectly cooked this piece of chicken is. Okay, so now the chicken's done. So let's vent it. Keep your fingers out of the way. Venting all the pressure out. Open it up away from you. And then, I know this beautiful piece of chicken here. So you keep all of the beautiful brown marks on it, which I really like. So again, I would let it rest for 10 minutes, but we're gonna go ahead and cut into it so I can show you that it's done. Cut from this side. So you can see it's cooked through, no pink, it's super juicy. So this is how you cook chicken breasts in the pressure cooker.